Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Starting off, I am brushing my eyebrows with my spoolie and I am using my Davis brow pencil in color 3 to draw the outlines of the brows and filling it in with hair like strokes. To highlight my brows, I am using the Zaron Cosmetics Highlighter in Medium. And I am just blending it out with my flat brush. For the other part of the brows, I am using Zeron Cosmetics Highlighter in F. This is because I want it to blend smoothly with my foundation so that it doesn't show any harsh line. For my eyeshadow, I'm going into this Bestie Glam, Bestie Glam eyeshadow palette and I'm taking this orange shade to use as my transition color. I'm then going into this dark purple shade and I'm using it to blend it out, to blend with the orange shade. So I'm just blending it out there. So I'm trying to blend everything in as I add the purple shade. To cut my crease, I'm using a flat brush and also the Nine Clown White. And I am cutting my crease like so. I'm going into this peach shade from the same palette and I'm just tapping that into my crease area. I want the color to pop so because of that I am tapping it into that area consciously not just swiping it. I had to extend the, cre the cutting of the crease in that other eye because I felt they were not equal. Now 
and I'm going into this other shade, light blue shade, and I'm just using it at the outer corners just to blend the peach and the purple together. I'm just shading it in to blend it. After which I'm going back to that purple to re-emphasize the outer corners. For my lids, I am using the dynamic pen liner. I am using the Zaron Cosmetics Mask Eye Lengthening Mascara. I'm just wiping my face with wipes to catch fallouts that might have dropped on my skin when I was doing my eyeshadow. And then for my primer, I'm using the Vimeo Stay Matte Primer. And I'm tapping it in and allowing it to dry for some seconds before I go into my foundation. My foundation, I'm using the cheek foundation and I'm just spraying water on my brush before I go into the foundation. And I'm dabbing it into my skin. I'm spraying my face with Flawless Ivy Setting Mist The Flawless Ivy Mist And I'm going in with the same foundation brush just to tap, dab everything into my skin I'm using the same Zaron Cosmetics Highlighter in Medium to highlight my face to blend it proper properly in I am using the same brush I use for my foundation to remove any harsh lines that might come up to set my highlight I'm using my Johnson's baby powder I'm going into this mini star palette and I'm taking a dark shade to contour my face. For my waterline, I am using the Naked Gel Liner. I'm going back into the same Bestie Gum palette and I'm just taking the peach shade I used first to apply under my eyes and then I'm mixing it in with the other dark purple shade I used. So I'm dusting off excess powder from my face. I'm 
I'll now go into my Avo Cosmetics powder in number 25 and I'm blending everything in. I do not want to see harsh lines, so I have to blend everything in with my brush, the fluffy brush. I'm going into this Zyron Cosmetics eyeshadow palette and I am taking my blush from there and I'm also spraying my face with the same flawless ivy mist I used previously and I'm allowing it to dry. I'm going back into the Zyron Cosmetics mascara, eyeliner mascara for my bottom lashes. This mascara is very very good. Like. It's really good it dries fast unlike some other ones I have used previously I'm going into my Evaron care palette and I'm using it to highlight my cheekbone and my brow bone And then I am then trying to blend it in with my powder brush. For my lips, I am using Jordana pencil in brown ridge. And I am going into this NYX lip stain. After which I am going to apply a gloss. And I'm going back in to blend if there are harsh lines. And this is the final look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned one or two things from this video. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. If you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell just beside the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I will see you in my next one.